Welcome back to Flyer 411. I'm your host, Beth Hart. This week, we're at Welcome Stadium, where this summer, former Flyer football coach Mike Kelly was inducted into the College Football Hall of Fame. Let's sit down with Coach Kelly to talk about his experience. Tonight, we will be witnessing these legendary players and coaches going into the College Football Hall of Fame. Mike Kelly. Dayton's Mike Kelly is in rare coaching company. Only Jake Gaither reached the 200 win mark quicker than Kelly, and his win percentage is third highest of all coaches with 25 years of experience. Mike's first team was the Division III national runner-up. His teams played in three more title games, taking the national championship in 1989. That year, he won the first of two National Coach of the Year honors. In 1993, the Flyers moved from a D3 independent to a 1AA member of the Pioneer League. Kelly continued to win, dominating the conference with 10 league titles in 15 seasons. This coach achieved an impressive record during his years at Dayton which spanned from 1981 to 2007. Coach Mike Kelly. It was a very exciting time for uh, certainly our family, but uh, at the same time, I think it was exciting for the institution and, and certainly our entire football program, all the student athletes and the parents and the administrators and, and certainly all the coaches that have been a part of that, uh, that long time. Hey, uh, wait, 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 you got to remember, I'm still the coach. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm interviewing you tonight, so. <laughs> it was very meaningful to have Coach Gruden there. It was uh, interesting in that uh, he was aware that he was going to be a part of it before I was. And uh, I was talking with the Hall of Fame people, and, I, and they were explaining the, the process. And I said something like, well, who's going to be the host? And it got real quiet on the other end of the line. They said, well, we're not allowed to tell you. I said, well, why is that? Well, it's going to be a surprise. And I said, now, wait a minute and it came out and I'd actually talked with John just the week before so he had already knew that and he did not want the, uh, that to take away from any of the festivities but uh, that was pretty special. A lot of guys that are good players that want to play football that aren't good enough to play at the big, big leagues but we felt just as good winning as the guys down the street did at Columbus, Ohio and I had more fun playing there, I had more fun at Dayton and I just want everybody to just clap their hands for Mike Kelly, Hall of Fame coach. He's a Hall of Fame guy too. Two sports that continue to fly through the season are men's and women's cross country. With the All-Ohio Championships quickly approaching, these teams are going to need to push themselves to go the extra mile. Well, the year so far is going great. I, I think we have uh, very strong momentum going, a lot of maturity on the team, even from the freshmen. The captains really um, lead the way. They do a great job. We have great senior leadership. It, it, it is funny because a lot of people have the notion that um, you know cross country you just go out and run and get in shape and there's so much more to it um, you can't run fast if you're injured you can't run fast if you're sore all the time so we spend a lot of time with preparation we do a lot of drills we're in the weight room um, twice a week a lot of core work stretching icing the one thing they hear me say all the time the little things matter your sleep rest nutrition and then very specialized training I never just lump them all together say here this is what you're doing. Our freshmen train actually quite differently than our upperclassmen. They're not ready for what the upperclassmen are doing. It doesn't mean they can't race very well but I want them to race um, better every single year. I don't want them to have to sit out with injuries and right now on the team um, of cross-country runners we have 18 girls and nobody's injured right now. So that's my honestly my number one priority to keep them healthy and if they're health healthy they can train consistently um, and patiently for four years, and that's when you really see big improvement. This year's team is, is young. There are no seniors, uh, which means that uh, we're going to be running together as a pack, getting our first through fifth man time differential within a half minute. So that is a definite goal that we're looking for this year, and it can, it can help us out by actually beating teams who run faster than us if we can run together as a pack within that 30-second time frame. The mental aspect of cross country is very, very important to winning a race. Physically, most of the guys on most of our competitions, teams that we face, are all evenly physically fit, and it's the guys who are mentally tough and consistently running day in and day out and doing proper workouts are the ones that are going to prevail in the course of the meet. That's a wrap for Flyer 411. I'm your host, Beth Hart. Go Flyers! <laughs>